Okay, guys, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is your host, Andrew Stephen Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Guys, today what I'm going to do is to show you the last project that I handled in Qatar. Okay, now actually this project is called Milaha Logistics City. Okay, so uh, what I have here is the video of this project. Okay, now actually I think this video was taken after we completed the uh, project. Okay, now actually I left Qatar. 2017 okay so this was the last project i handled in building management system okay just to give you an idea this is the uh, milaha logistics city actually this uh, project is composed of several uh, warehouses okay as you can see there are still plenty of vacant spaces actually they are going to construct several warehouses like this now Guys, to give you an idea, the project that we constructed here, actually we are the electrical uh, supplier or the electrical installer for this project. Okay, so these are warehouses. Now, these warehouses are air-conditioned warehouses. Okay, now actually this was uh, done during the height of uh, Qatar blockage from their neighboring countries like Saudi Arabia. Okay, so... Actually, we are forced to really uh, complete this project so they can uh, import uh, commercial goods from neighboring countries like uh, Turkey and Oman and some countries, okay, and also India. Now, uh, my scope here is to engineer the building management system scope of this project okay now we have here the b2 b3 and b4 so this warehouse this is uh, this is composed of three separate warehouses b2 okay the first part is the b2 wherein we have the cold room uh, storage okay when i say cold rooms then the temperature the temperature there is around uh, negative 27 something like that okay so we have there our air coolers and we have the refrigeration plant in this B2 warehouse. Then we have the B3 and B4. Okay. B3 and B4, uh, these are for uh, not uh, less than zero temperature. I think uh, maybe the temperature is around 15 degrees centigrade. Okay. Now, uh, so as you can see here, there are several, okay, there are several facilities in the uh, project, okay. So we have here some workstation like this, I know, a substation, we have here several substation here, okay. Anyway, you will be able to see it. Now, I think this was the uh, site project, okay, uh, site project office, okay. I remember when I was... Uh, when I was uh, doing the BMS, I had to uh, report and join a progress meeting in this site. Okay, now I think these are the consultant uh, offices. This is our uh, site office. Then we have here a substation, then a guard house, then some other substation here. Actually, if you are the BMS engineer uh, in this, uh, project, uh, I need to install some DDC panel in this uh, substation and also in this substation and some other services like water pumps, underground water pumps. So I need to, the, but the main concern here is how you are going to communicate with this DDC here from the BMS workstation installed somewhere here. I think I have here in its uh, warehouse B2, B3, and B4. I, if I can remember, we have here one uh, control room. Uh, I think we concentrated most of the BMS workstation in B3. So we are monitoring the temperatures of the cold rooms and some points in the refrigeration system and also here. So later I will try to show you the uh, the DC panel I, I installed. Now, as I said, the the concern of the BMS engineer is how are you going to 
uh, established the communication between DDCs installed in each uh, substations because we have several substations here. Then, of course, we have also here a guard house wherein there are some HBAC equipment installed in it that you need also to monitor from the BMS workstation in this area. So this is a very big area, okay? Now guys, uh, this will be my introduction to this uh, series of video tutorial. How are you going to engineer the BMS project for this such kind of uh, project? Actually, this is a big project, okay? So just give me a second, I will try to, okay? So, okay, guys, let me play this uh, video footage taken from my last project just to give you an idea what are the facilities uh, in, this, uh, in this project, okay? So, let me play it for you. Okay, so this will be the guard house wherein I have also to go need to monitor something there, okay? So that this is Mila Logistic City package five and five A. So package five and five A that was the package we did. Okay. So as you can see, uh, that is a very big project. So I was here during the uh, construction. Okay. So I think I stayed here for almost three years in this project. Um, I'm not sure if it's three years, maybe more than two years. Okay. So. So this is another, okay, let me, I will try to stop, okay, okay, now as you can see here, this is one of the DDC panels, so this is one of the DDC panels that I tried to program the uh, controls of some of the equipment being controlled and monitored from this DDC panel, okay, then we have also here some uh, DVs or electrical panels, okay. Now, guys, actually, uh, the project, our uh, our uh, subcontractor for the uh, this project uh, was Black Arrow. Okay. Now they have one BMS engineer, but I am part of the uh, MEP company that will supervise the project in relation to the building management system. Actually. I was the one who engineered this one. Then I was uh, giving all the information to the BMS engineer of our subcontractor, Black Arrow. And I was the one who designed the uh, communication uh, network for all the DDC. How my DDC will try to communicate to the uh, BMS workstation. So we have several. DDC installed in this, uh, I think this one is, I'm, I, I'm not mistaken, maybe this one is from B, B3, okay, B3 warehouse. Okay, so let's continue watching this. Okay, so this will be the finished product of the project. Okay, guys, now here we have here the air coolers, okay. Now the problem for this one is, uh, the maintenance here for these air coolers. Actually, they have the, they have some, what you call this one, uh, boom, that can reach these air coolers. So this will be part of our uh, BMS monitoring the status of these air coolers. Actually, these air coolers is composed of two fans, okay? Based on the set point, uh, these fans will run. Actually, uh, the mechanical contractor, they are, uh, they installed the, uh, this one is being controlled by a backnet uh, thermostat, okay? Then this backnet thermostat, I tried to uh, software integrate it to the building management system. So I think we have here around 20 plus air coolers for this uh, uh, warehouse, okay? Now, let me continue. So this is the storage rack system. Okay. So that is a very big uh, warehouse. Okay. So, as I said, okay. Okay, so let this continue. Okay. Now, an 
another air coolers here. I think this one is in B2. Okay, this area now is for B2, wherein the temperature is uh, less than, in some cold room, the temperature is less than uh, 20. Okay. okay. This is our firefighting system. These are the uh, sprinkler, sprinkler head. Okay. Aside from that, BB3, okay, that is the air coolers, and this is the panel wherein we are trying to monitor all the status of this. Okay, guys, then you can, as you can see here, now we have the data cable and the electrical uh, cable. Okay, so the we have a data basket here. I think the data basket here is this one, wherein all the low current system are or the, all the cables for low current system are being laid, okay? Now let me just continue this one. Okay. So that this is uh, what this one is called the clean agent. So this one is for uh, firefighting system. Also for, let's say, uh, our uh, data center. Now I think this is my one of my DDC panel also, okay? So now this is for the refrigeration system. So we have one, uh, I think this one is a chiller for the refrigeration system. Now I need, I think I, what I have done here is the uh, software integrate this thing, okay? Okay, so this will be a refrigeration system. Okay, these are the VRF, variable uh, refrigerant flow control, so the VRF, okay. So this is our cooling tower for the refrigeration system. So we have here several VRF. Actually, I what I did also here is software integration. So these are the, these are the, uh, compressors for the refrigeration plant. So what I did here is also uh, software integration to the refrigeration SCADA, okay? So this is the refrigeration plant. Uh, we have used their SCADA. Now these are the uh, chillers for B3 and B4. Now, actually, uh, these chillers will provide cooling in the B3 and B4. The cold rooms are being, uh, uh, the, the temperature is controlled in the refrigeration plant. But in B3 and B4 warehouse, this one is being, the temperature there is being controlled or being uh, controlled by these chillers. Okay, So these are air-cooled chillers. Now uh, the 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 system that we use here is uh, for the chiller plant manager. We use here train. Then again, from the train system, I tried to software integrate it with our building management system, Schneider. Then so that is our cooling system for B two and B four. Okay, so these are the field water lines. Okay, now these are the, we have there around, uh, I think we have only the three air handling unit. But this air handling unit, I guess, this, are, this is one of the DDC panel. Now, but I think this, uh, this one is uh, direct expansion, not chilled water type. Because as you can see here, the refrigerants are entering from this side. So this is a direct expansion air handling unit. Now we have here our differential pressure switch. So I was the one who tried to uh, design how are the field devices to be connected in this air handling unit. Okay, so these are the, uh, the pumps for our chilled water distribution. So we have the primary and secondary pumps here. Okay. Then as a BMS engineer, you need also to 
do some uh, containment works in here, okay? Now, this is the solar panel that is related to the hot water system for the warehouse. Now, actually, the hot water system is uh, uh, being supplied by the solar panels, then the electrical heaters in the mechanical room. CCTV. So these are the project staging system and the sound system. Well, if you will become a BMS engineer, uh, something like this you will encounter in the site. So this is the offices. Okay, this is the one being cooled by these killers in D3 and D4. There we go. Now these are the uh, substation. Okay, so we have here our air circuit breakers, then some uh, breakers inside these MB panels. Now I, I I have also one DDC panel here that will try to monitor all the uh, let's say the voltages, then the current and the power being consumed. So I have here some power monitoring units. Again, it is. Uh, software integrated to the building management system. Okay, this is the SCADA. Okay, another uh, now these are the underground water tank. Okay. Now I need I have also uh, DDC inside here. Okay, these are the underground. Uh, okay, no, no, this is the construction of the water tanks. Okay, so there are several compartments in there. Okay, now as a BMS engineer, it is also your scope to uh, ask the mechanical contractor how are you going to install your field devices, like the, uh, how you are going to monitor the level of this underground tank. Okay, these are the fire pump room wherein I also installed some of the BMS field devices, especially monitoring the run status of the fire pumps. Okay, now this is the underground water tank filtration system wherein I also have, I think this is my DDC panel here. I have DDC panel here and their uh, control panel here. Okay. So now the, the problem I encountered here is, uh, actually this is underground. The problem here is there is no cooling here, only ventilation. So make sure that the controllers that you are going to install, I mean the DDC controllers that you're going to install inside this DDC panel uh, can withstand the harsh condition in the Middle East. Okay, actually this is in Qatar. Okay, so fire pumps. Okay, so this is a very big uh, project we handled. Okay, this is another substation uh, wherein I have also my uh, DDC panel inside this room. If these are in air conditioned uh, substation, okay, as you can see, we have here split pipe. Okay, there no no problem if you will install your DDC panel inside this area because it is. Uh, Air condition. I guess I installed some of my automation server inside the deep this substation. Okay, another uh, substation room. Okay, this is the substation room. Okay, that this is a very nice project. Wherein, as a BMS engineer, you will be able to. Uh, you will be able to use all your experience in uh, making all the panels uh, communicate to each other where you can monitor all the points, uh, the, the, the data point schedule, all these points should be monitored in one area in the BMS workstation. So guys, uh, this is my 
last uh, project I handled in Qatar. So again, I hope uh, those uh, future BMS engineer, those who are watching my channel, I hope you will get an idea if you will be able to land a job in or in abroad or in the Middle East, how this uh, environment, so you will not be surprised, you will be, you will see this kind of environment wherein you will be working at. Okay, so again, thank you for watching. And I hope I have given you a glimpse on a BMS project. Okay, that actually that is an MEP project, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing. Now BMS is just a part of uh, electrical and mechanical. Okay, so again, thank you for watching. Before I will end, uh, let me say God bless us all. Let's all be safe and bye for now.